Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Ball Hollow playthrough. We are here in Yorkshire, having completed the Animus Anomaly and nearly going insane. So, as you can see, we've done a lot of the map. I mean, look how much of the map we've gotten. Mainly the western half of the map. Apart from Shrop, parts of Shropshire, we really haven't explored the western half. Mainly because everything is at least power level 200, except for Shropshire. So, there's that. Um, today we're gonna go head over to the Wolds and meet Faravid. Like, I'm just so mad. Like, that, that Animus Anomaly, if you guys didn't watch that video, you won't know how PO'd I am, but I was trying so hard not to swear after that. And after the episode ended, I spent about two minutes swearing. <laughs> That's how bad that episode was for me, or for my mental health. That was just insane. Okay. Well, we're back on track, hopefully, and hopefully we won't get jumped by insanity. Now, we do have to cross this river. I don't remember what river it is. Uh, we are pretty... Oh, hey, there's the Tees River. This is the Foss River, or the Foos... I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. Um, it's either Foos, Foss, or uh, Foes. One of the... It's one of those... One of the many. Um, anyways, uh, we're going to... Um, Sorry for the all, all the ums. We're gonna cross this river and then head into Northern Yorkshire. What was that? Northern Yorkshire. So welcome to Northern Yorkshire. I don't think we've actually been this way. Oh yeah, we have been this way um once, going or twice actually, going after Callan and then heading over to Steinwich or Stenwich. Those are the only two times we've actually been this way. So there's that. Ooh, that's that interesting looking trees. Um. They don't have anything on redwoods, but it's still pretty good. Or, pretty good, but they don't have a patch on, uh, uh... I messed up what I was trying to say. Basically, what I was trying to say is redwoods are still better. Um, anyways, moving on. Um, through here. Nice bit. Not really crunching. It's really deep here because we're pretty close to Hadrian's Wall. Which, ob um, the wall actually stretched throughout Wales and, um, England. It wasn't just England, by the way. For anyone who's wondering, how the heck could they have... How the heck could a wall going across England kept out invaders? That's a lot of... I mean, there's Wales right there. Now, the Romans actually conquered Wales as well. But, yeah, Colchester was the capital city of Camelodunum. Cast about this land, my friend. The wolves are... Even further north. Oh, there's the tents and the great heathen army signs or banners. Horses hey, and there's Faravid. Welcome. Join me in drowning this golden drink. Hey, Faravid. You made it. Come, have a drink. You're a few horns deep already. Yep. <laughs> Yet still floating. Tell me, how did my old friend like his goblet gift? There were other things on his mind. Your man Ulfra, for instance. He died protecting the spoils he stole from Hafton. Ulfra. Poor Ulfra. I told him to mind your tongue, but he wags it like a slobbering dog. Was Hafton always so easily riled? No. Riches and glory have shaped him into something new. He's not the same man he used to be. Interesting. What happened to this camp? What is this place? I expected an army ready for Warcraft. I don't want to seem too much like a Northern. sniffer. I came here with Hafton and his brothers, Uba and Ivar. We besieged Jorvik and put King Alla in the cold ground. Those were good days. Ah. Now, too far gone. Ah. So this was their very what first camp. This? Through the wolves. My share of the treasure we took from those distant days. I buried it here for a rainy day. This bag is heavy with silver. Enough to pay for an army. Come! Race me to Jorvik, Eivor. Remind me of the glories long gone. You're We're not gonna drink. To win a race. Then have a drink. Make it fair. Let's do that. What's keeping you, friend Eivor? Waiting for spring? Getting some drink to make it even. I gotta be at least somewhat drunk. Alright. Oh, there's an actual race. Hold on. Oh, I can't pause it. Fortunately, I'm a master horseman. 
Best not fall off your horse, he's sad. See you in Yorick. So he's way over there. I'm just gonna take this path because... Oh hey, there's an old Roman bridge. Must be, this area was either um, a footpath or an old stream. It came through here. Because that's the only two reasons to build bridges. Alright, I'm actually curious if he's gonna win or not. I don't think he will, but there is that possibility. So, let's put on some speed. I'm surprised this area is so devoid of snow, especially looking over that away. Obviously, we are looking towards Snottingham, so it's not like um, not like we're going. What was I saying? Oh yeah, it's not like we're going straight south. But hey, that's a lot of hogs. All right, so we're pretty much winning, I assume. That's a lot of hogs near Jorvik. He's gonna take the bridge path, isn't he? Oh, he's way behind, but he's gonna catch up because of. Because of me being an idiot. I think I've won. I hope I've won. <laughs> Here's Yorick's southern gate. I win. <laughs> Where's he at? Having trouble Cuts keeping in. up. My horse mm -hmm. must be deeper in the cups than I am. What are we doing in Yorick? You haven't said. Paying a visit to our kept King Rishie. Long may he reign. I haven't enough men to beat the Picts alone, but with Rishie and his fury, we'll finish them off. You'd bring ah. Puppet King into this fight, but not your y'all? keep this to yourself. The streets have ears, the windows have eyes. Oh. I did not there. agree to this level of deception. You should have told me this before. Eivor, my friend. If I describe my full strategy, we might never leave the campfire. Fair. Prefer the light of a fire to the darkness of your plans. Don't do it again. Coppergate Market, Captain's Banner there, no more red eyes, or red hands, or whatever the heck that gang's name was, ever since, alright, I was just listening to people complain about Auden, um, so I get the feeling we have to lie to him, um, I get the feeling, why not mead? Yeah, um, uh, uh, what I was gonna say is, I get the feeling we have to lie to Rishie that, um, that we have, that Hafton commanded him to raise his beard. I don't think Hafton will mind one way or the other. No kidding. Outen really made himself an enemy here. Alright, let's go see what we have to do here. I uh, love walking through the snow. So nice. It's a pair of Saxons. Oh, we can attack the Saxons now. I'm not going to, but we could. Wait. A favor I must ask of you. Make no mention that Hafton is ignorant of our plans. It's better this way. Are you mad? Rishia answers to Hafton. You put this man in grave danger if he defies his master's will. Rishia cannot defy orders he has never heard. No. Trust me. I will take the blame should our plan fall apart. I don't doubt that he will. That's the thing. I trust Faravid's going to do that, but how he's going to do it is the real question. So here's Rishie. Looks pretty preoccupied there, buddy. Eivor the wolf kissed and half done's cupbearer. What a curious cup surprise. I guess feeling that would insult him. finds you and Jorvik well. Yes, we scrape by with what little we still own. But this new war should make us wealthy once again, until our tribute is taken. I smell the bile on your breath, King. Do not forget who is in charge here. Oh, do remind me, Faravid. Yesterday it was half done, but today I hear whispers that you are leading the charge. I am confused. Yes, you answer to half done. And now, he orders one final strike on the picked stronghold at Magnus. <laughs> to make war with the North on such a scale will require a hefty amount of silver and a large force of men. He's gonna get the silver fair bit, Will. My soldiers and silver are pledged already. I expect the same from you. I've given my aid as well. The battle must be decisive. I see. And you have these orders from half done in writing, yes? From the great man himself? That's where it falls. 
half Dan knows, half Dan does not know. So I get the feeling we have to lie to Rishier here. Um, but two things that I want to say. First of all, Harry Potter Hogwarts Legacy. Um, looks like it's still quarter three of 2022, which I'm really excited um, for. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This is going to be really exciting. Um, as I have said, I am going to play it um, hopefully on release day is when I'll start. I don't know, though. Um, so, yeah, let's continue on. We're going to say half Halfton does. Us, but you can rest assured Halfton has need of you. He expects a swift victory. I'm sorry, Faravid, but duty compels me to refuse. Without strict orders from Halfton, I will not risk the lives of so many. You deny me? I do. To gift you an army puts my wealth and reputation at risk. That's not what Hafton wants. He needs a strong and loyal king. You presume to know what Hafton wants. Hearsay hey, is not enough. For all I know, this is another of Hafton's tests. Fair enough. He's got a fair point there. I gotta say, Rishi... Rishi is definitely wising up to the game. The greatest snake in Northumbria that Saxon is. We need his army to take Magnus. And we'll have it. If we fortify orders from Hafton ourselves. You would do this? Draw up fake orders and pass them off as real? That's it. And I know just who to speak with. Pure of Jorvik. He'll know what we need. Good. Your favorite alehouse is nearby. Seek him there. The son of Jorvik quest updated. Find and speak to Yor. He might be at his favorite alehouse. Hey guys. All right. Well, I don't actually want to do that in um, this episode. I just wanted to point that out. Oh, sorry. I just wanted to convert Rishier. Um, so it looks like this arc is actually pretty long. I get the feeling that this arc is probably one of the longest arcs. Um, there's a Stenwish camp. I think we're going to ride over to that sink point and grab it. And then we'll come back here to Jorvik um, next episode and next recording chunk. This time for real. I have also been considering starting my Ghost of Tsushima campaign early. And what I mean by that is basically starting the recordings but keeping them privated. But I'm not sure if I'm actually going to do that or not. I get the feeling I'm going to bandy about doing it, but ultimately not do it. So we'll see. Oh, there's some oil there. Yep. Alright, so we got to go 2,000 meters um, through the snow. That sounds like the epitome of an awesome travel. And the reason why I'm doing this is both for XP, because you get meager amounts of XP for uncovering new areas and because I really want to hear the Northumbrian sync point music again and this provides a perfect excuse to without moving on in the main story or doing some other stuff so let's continue on um kind of interested to see what's going to happen in Ireland because the kingdom of Dublin was a Norse I uh, was a Norse kingdom so to, oh yeah we could also do Orlog but I'm gonna go with the sink point over Orlog, much as that pains me to say. The snow is nice, deep, crisp, and fresh. I get the feeling that Half Dan won't mind our method as long as we have a result. Um, Fairvid definitely not giving me reason to doubt him or to um or to like he's not really giving me a reason to go one way or the other for this. Um he definitely comes off as loyal, and I think this is why Hafton's having us investigate. His Fairvid comes off as pretty loyal, but at the same time, he makes actions that, or he, ha, he says and does things that make me question his loyalty. We'll ultimately see where the path lies. I really hope he is loyal because I feel like having someone like Fairvid um, be loyal and you can fight with him at Chippenham if we indeed fight at Chippenham or Sippenham, not really sure which one it is. I think it's Chippenham though. Um I feel like that would be really cool fighting with Half Dan in or fighting with half both Half Dan and Faravid in Chippenham. Hamptonshire obviously is probably gonna be the biggest and most interesting 
action packed and intense action packed yeah action packed and intense arc all right so this is gonna if i'm not mistaken the blue um the blue round heads actually take away from health i just want to prove it yep so as you can see blue round heads actually hurt your health they don't help it so as you can see it looks like two christians died from eating them um just wanted to prove that though that was that was mainly just me proving that um those are harmful mushrooms anyways we've already gone a pretty decent ways and it looks like there's a blizzard coming in we are also heading north towards the wall eventually i will go to the wall and what i'll do is i'll run across the whole of it lighting all in the braziers that looks like an interesting tree okay and we can barely go further because of the snowstorm i get the feeling that this is intentional you're not supposed to be able to go further show me oh there's no wall here um, there's a mystery there. Okay, so we're gonna turn back. It's gonna be easier to turn back than to uh, continue going, which is the point. So, I get the feeling that Reeve Derby is going to be somewhere, um, in this area or somewhere in Snottingham. We'll see, though. Um, I get the feeling that this city here will... This city is definitely Norse. Um, you can just tell by the giant hut that looks or that by the building that looks a bit like Volcus hut actually um definitely norse at least mainly norse there could also be um oh my god there's a lot of wolves i get the feeling we're gonna have to turn and fight but i want to avoid that if i can oh yeah I forgot. so the wolves aren't easy oh hey there's some gray wolves the wolves aren't going to be one hit like they are in Letta Chestershire and, um, and Alcinefordshire and all those areas. Lincoln, they're going to be tough. Or at least tougher than normal. Obviously, these axes are still pretty heavy, actually. I'm really surprised that our axe, uh, two-handed weapon here, is so heavy. There really doesn't feel like much of a difference between 16 and, uh, 21. Actually, there is a little bit of difference, but not it's not that noticeable. There's a waterfall here. Yep, there's a beautiful waterfall. Welcome, everybody, to Picharinga. So this is Picharinga here. There's a flighting. Ooh, I will be doing the flighting. There's one, uh, one Orlog player, which is kind of expected. I don't think there's another one um, anywhere nearby, but we shall see. I get the feeling though that this is, might be where Reeve Derby lurks. Um, fishmonger can't sell weak old fish. Hilda. Where's that husband of yours? Oh, fishing again. There's Hilda. Says, Vera. The only thing he ever catches is more gambling debts. I fear I cannot keep him around. Read Crimple Note. Under cliffs, east near Scarborough. Good fishing, be wary of rocky cliffs. Try to keep away. Scarborough shore beneath the tower ruins, does he not? That's foolish. The cliffs are too steep. One so, yeah. Of wits, wonders why. No greater honor than to serve aboard your PC, Dave. All right, so I just grabbed another Yonzu finger simply because I think that skull sniffer here looks pretty interesting. All right, so we will do some flighting eventually. Ooh, man, picture ring up. Definitely cool. Um... Man, Yorkshire just Northumbria in general is just so beautiful. Um, so that's where we'll go find the uh, guy without wits. I think it's probably gonna be a um, gonna be a uh, gonna be a uh, world event. Though it does look like so. Picharinga only one dice player there, but it looks like there are a couple other people who do play dice as well. So. That is a possibility that Reeve Derby is there. What I can do is I can go around taking a look for innocent, or take a look for someone with a black cloak next episode, which I think I will do. Yep, can't catch me off the cliff. There's a lot of wolves through here, though. Surprised so many can survive in such a barren environment. That's probably why they're hunting me, though, is because they're hungry. Alright, well, let's head over to the Ruined Tower. So, the fisherman's somewhere over here near Scarver. I'm not going to worry about him for now. My biggest worry is sink points. 
But yeah, we'll get this sync point and then we'll end the episode. So we're going to listen to that beautiful Northumbrian sync point music. Um, obviously, we do have to continue on with Faravid and sure. But that's something I can wait for now. Just took out a raven. New York Scarborough. An old ruined Roman tower. 10 XP for finding this place. We'll get more for sync point. Oh wow, we're 2,100 meters away from Yorvik on the other side this time though. So let's climb up um, Scarborough Tower. Obviously, I'll be back here to Picharinga eventually, um, but for now, it's just about climbing, climbing, climbing. Ooh, there's a brazier here. Too bad you can't light them. Get some more loot. Got a shield rune, a flower, and cutlery. So here we go. Up here is the sink point to end the episode. We also got a mystery somewhere nearby, and this is a beautiful view of um, got a beautiful view of um, Yorkshire. Can't really see much of um, of Lincoln, but I um, everything else is pretty much shrouded in mist as night's beginning to fall. And we got a wonderful view of parts of Scotland there. So really would like to see an expansion into Scotland. Um, uh, where you can just head straight into Scotland over Hadrian's Wall. Uh, Ubisoft, please do that. It would be really cool. Anyways, if not, then I'd like to see some part of Scotland in the uh, in the uh, in this era, in the Viking era, Scotland or Wales, but preferably Scotland. Anyways, let's synchronize. Point music is so good. Norvik, Pichringa, Wiki, Grimsby, um, Lannenberg, Priory. I assume that's going to be a uh, our raiding area. The way the light is reflecting on the water has got the river opening up into the sea. Got Sunin's uh, uh, flying around. I think this is where we're going to end our episode. Thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then.